Hello, my name is Nabil Hashem, system engineer working for Cisco Meraki. I'm excited to show you in this short video Meraki and Cisco Defense Orchestrator integration and how this can easily be brought together through API. Cisco Defense Orchestrator, or CDO, is a cloud-based management solution that allows you to manage security policies and device configurations with ease across multiple Cisco and cloud native security platforms. Cisco Meraki MX is natively managed by the Meraki dashboard, and now you can manage layer three network rules on Meraki MX devices using CDO. A valid use case would be, for example, an enterprise having different security platforms between branches, headquarters, data centers, or even cloud platforms. As for the integration, CDO does not deploy configuration changes directly to a Meraki MX device. Deployment is a multi-step process, as you can see here. As an administrator, when you deploy the configurations, CDO pushes the changes to either an on-premise secure device connector or the Cisco Cloud Secure Device Connector, or SDC. The SDC securely transfers the changes to the Meraki dashboard and then the dashboard pushes the changes to the Meraki MX device. So CDO manages firewall policies while Meraki dashboard manages the network policies applied to. Both operations affect how traffic flows through the Meraki MX device and how it's processed. Let's see together in the demo how it's going to be achieved. So here I have my Meraki dashboard. So I'm in organization live demo. I'm in network Soho MX 0202. And as you can see, so I'm going to go to addressing VLAN. I have created two VLAN, Corp VLAN 10.1.1.0/24 and Guest VLAN 192.168.1.0/24. What I need to do, I need to block access from Guest to Corp. Let's go and see if there is any firewalling rules already created. So as you can see, like there is no firewalling rules blocking guests to access to Corp. So let's go now to our CDO. And you can see in our CDO, like there is no connectivity yet. So in order to have my MX onboarded within CDO, I need to go get my API key. In order to get my API key, I go to organization settings. I enable API access, and then I will go to my user, which is in here, my profile. I will take my API key. I already done it before, once it's generated. And then I will go to my CDO. I will go to policies. Let's do it first. Let me show. Let me stay first on firewalling to show like there is no rules created. And then I will go here to my CDO dashboard, I will go to devices and services, click on the plus button, Meraki device, I'll enter my API key, I will do connect, and then I'm going to have a list of my organization, I will select my live demo organization, and then I will select my network, which is Soho MX00202, select. I will add a small label for wider implementation later on. Continue. And then I have my device onboarded on CDO. Now I have my device. I'm going to be able to go click on policies and I'm going to start creating my policies. So let's go here. I will put my policy, which is guest corp. I will add my network, so whether I can select an existing object or I can create my object. I already created my object guest and corp, so guest is like, as I mentioned before, 192.168.1.0. I'm going to select my guest, save. I'm going to put my destination, which is corp, save. I will choose the action, so I'm choosing block. I will click in here, save, and that's it. So here now I can see like there is pending devices with pending changes. I'm going to push it now, deploy now, 
And once it's going to be deployed, once it's going to be synced, so we're going to have automatically the rule appearing in my device. So let's go here. Here is my dashboard MX202. I'm going to refresh my page and I'm supposed to have my rule already created here. Here's my rule. So guest access, guest VLAN cannot now get access to Corp VLAN. Here it is. Integration between between Meraki and CDO. Thanks for watching. For further information, please go to documentation.meraki.com. Thank you.